Well, I just got done having some fun. I'd love to say that I was, you know, like riding a four wheeler or got in a mud fight or had a mud run, but no, I got in a mud fight with a power washer because it hasn't rained here in about two weeks, two months, I'm sorry, two months. <laughs> and uh, my wife decided she wanted some trees planted. That's our her anniversary gift was she wanted to spend a little money uh, to plant some trees, to buy a couple flowering trees. So I started trying to pick at the ground with a shovel, not happening. And then I thought about it and I thought, you know what? Water jetting sometimes works. So I went and got the power washer and I started drilling me some holes. <laughs> and it worked pretty good. I actually stayed pretty clean on the first two. Most of this is from the, just from the last one that I did. The first one I started with a shovel and so the hole was already, I already had it full of water. I was trying to fill it with water and soften it. And um, you know, so when I started actually power washing, just kept the tip under the water and it was fine. The second one I started here um, without any water, but somehow it, it seemed to cut in relatively clean. And so then I started the third one over here um, with, you know, no, no primer hole at all. Just started this one in here, and for whatever reason, this one wouldn't, it's kind of up on a little, little bit of a, a high spot there or something, but the hole just wouldn't stay flooded when I was starting off. And so it just continued to, it just kept blasting me again and again and again and again. But anyway, I had the whole side of the shop was all muddy. I've washed it off, which it's, I don't know, there's still some spots that I need to hit it with a brush, really, because I just rinsed it off with a power washer. But anyway, it worked. I had some fun. It was hot. Um, so getting sprayed with, you know, blast of muddy water every now and then really wasn't all that bad. Yeah, lizards don't like to get caught, honey. Uh, so, you know, it really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a nice little... Uh, you know, way to stay cool and get some work done. But I got the trees planted. So this is a Vitex bush. I guess it's not really a tree. It's a Vitex bush. How do you get some um, This is another Vitex here. So she wanted these put on, you know, in front of the shop just to kind of start giving it some character, some landscape. And these bushes, will they'll grow up and get big and bushy and actually shade the shop a little bit. And then the last one, um, I don't know. You guys probably can't see it, but it's, it's back out here in the yard. There's a little bit of pink somewhere right in there. It's a crepe myrtle that we planted. Um, the crepe myrtles grow up quick and fast and they flower and look real pretty. They don't really offer a whole lot other than some really pretty flowers. But anyway, just thought I'd mention that to you guys as an idea. If you've got to dig through some crazy hard ground and you've got a power washer at your disposal, might be an option to try. I'm just using a standard, you know, fan tip. Uh, I don't have like a, oh, like a spiral. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. I used to call them a, a bumblebee tip. Um, but there's ones that it, it actually spins in a spiral pattern and those things will cut concrete. <laughs> I use those when I power wash hog farms growing up in high school. So yeah, those, those things would cut for sure. But the little flat cutter head, the little fan tip, it worked okay. You just have to move it around a lot more and, you know, kind of try to use that, that fan profile to your advantage to kind of cut and slope. What I found worked pretty good was to go around and kind of cut the perimeter and then actually lay the fan down really flat and kind of cut underneath and I was able to take off big chunks that way. Um, but a lot of it just got, gets kind of, you know, ground up into a pulp, which is fine. I actually liked doing it this way too because a couple spots, I actually shoved that four foot wash wand all the way down in the hole and buried it. And so what that does is that's gonna, you know, bore a hole down deep that's gonna immediately be full of water. And so it'll give some kind of channels and, you know, wormholes really for these trees to start to put roots into pretty quick so we, we you know bored them all out with the power washer set the tree in there um, into a hole full of water which is fine because it's going to dry up pretty quickly here uh, so we just set the tree right into the hole full of water and then filled in around it with compost um, so it should be a pretty good it should be a pretty good planting um, but yeah <laughs> i can feel the, the mud is starting to crust 
on me. <laughs> I kind of want to stay filthy till my wife gets home just so she can see how disgusting I am. And then she'll get mad at me and tell me to go get in the shower immediately. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just go get a beer and sit in the kids' little swimming pool. That might be a good thing to do too. But there's always more work to do. So anyway, just want to share that idea. Power washing holes in the ground to uh, plant a tree.